hello so now we are going to start this edit operation so first of all you can see the sales master is open so i open the sales master and now we have to open this load billing products and from here we don't need this edit link we are going to update using textbox directly so i remove that and from here also i am going to remove this edit now going to save this so now here i am going to refresh and you can see this edit is gone and now here we are going to set textbox directly so we can edit from there directly so for from here now here i need to take textbox so input then i need to give id so we need to give dynamic id so i take tt and then i can give dollar i so dollar i is incremental operator so here the id will generate unit here i need to give equal yeah that's fine and now here i need to give value in value i need to fill this quantity so okay this is fine now we are going to check here you can see we got here text box and value is also filled up now we need to set here refresh button so for that you can find like this fafa refresh icon and you can see this w3 school so i am going to open the link and here you can see this tile sheet we need to add so i am going to copy this tile sheet and inside this sales master here i can edit and if you can't find this link this w3 school links then you can type this manually so now here in load billing i i have to add this pop icon so just i copied i am going to paste it and now we are going to check here i am going to close these things here you can see i got this now i need one space so i add this n person in bsp okay so i got this space and now here on this on click we have to perform our operation so here we have to pass we will create this function but before that we need to pass parameter from here so first parameter is document dot get element by d we are going to pass quantity so first parameter is passed and now here comma and now we need to pass now dollar company name session then dollar product name session i am going to do little bit slow typing so we can easily understand now from here we need to pass unit session then packing size session 
and last parameter is price so for that price yes sir and in last you can see this bracket should be completed so we pass this parameter and we will get this parameter here sales master page so here we have to create that function edit qty and here qty1 we are going to take this parameter company name 1 product name 1 unit 1 packing size 1 and then price 1 now you have to do one thing you have to just copy all the code of this add session function code so i copy this code and just i am going to paste here now here we have to pass company name one here product name one here unit one then packing size one then price one then qty one and here we have to do price multiply by qty and here well so we got all the parameter now we are going to create one new page so here we are going to change name update in session.php and here we have to pass all the parameter same so now we have to create this page so just copy just paste okay but before i am going to do anything here let me comment these things also we are going to check we are getting value here or not if we are not getting value here then first we have to solve that so i am going to write a lot qty1 plus company name one because this is done by edges so if you are getting any problem then also it will not show any error so we have to find everything is okay or not yeah this is done now let me check I am going to change something and refresh you can see the first is error then after everything is okay so here is the problem so let me check here what is the problem id is correct okay here i forgot to pass value so now i passed again we are going to check yeah you can see we got this if i am going to write here 20 then you can see we got here 20 you can see because when we are going to type we did some mistakes so we have to check that now this is fine now let me uncomment all the code yeah now in update in session we have to write same code of the save in session so i open the save in session all the code update in session i just paste it and then we have to change something like we have to keep this old function 
I just open this else. First of all, this if you can see this if and this else, this else we don't need it. So I'm going to delete this. I delete this else and then we don't need this if condition, so I remove it. And then after let me check here we need to pass dollar qty year zero but here dollar qty then avqty this is fine then this condition this is also fine and then else okay so in this page we keep these things and only you have to keep this code you can write it also and don't change anything here so you can see this is done now let me run this here i am going to say 20 click you can see it is updated total is also updated now if i am going to write 26 so we are getting error enter quantity is not available because right now we don't have this quantity but we have right now 25 quantity only but if you are going to set from here like i am going to set six you are getting error but if you are going to write four then it will work you can see now if you want to set 10 update you can see total is set this is done now here i am going to add new item can see new entry is available now if i'm going to write eight update yeah one so now you can see so this update is also done you can update your quantity from here thank you so much for watching my video yeah one more thing in next video i'm going to show you how you can perform this delete operation if you want to delete this entered product then how you can delete that thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again